In the pantheon of great American cities, San Francisco is one of a kind. But when it comes to parking headaches, it is unfortunately all too typical. There's typically a severe shortage of parking. So being able to find an available space is challenging. I actually live in Berkeley and um, coming into the city is, you know, I don't do it as much because I think about parking, it's gonna be a hassle. Circling around for 10 minutes to find a parking space isn't just tremendously inconvenient, it's an enormous waste of time. It's a senseless use of, of fuel, of greenhouse gas emissions. Enter SF Park, the city's website and mobile app bringing real-time parking information to drivers through wireless. So there's two kinds of real-time data that, that we're pushing out in our data feed, either from garages or from on-street um, at metered spaces. The garages are pretty simple. Uh, every time someone goes in or out of the gate arm, that system is counting how many cars are in the garage. That data is sent to us to our data management system. The other real-time data feed we're getting uh, is from the, the in-ground sensors at metered parking spaces. So it's a hockey puck size sensor that gets embedded in the pavement or concrete underneath the parking space. And it sends wireless information through our wireless network about the arrival and departure of vehicles into parking spaces. The data is then converted and displayed to drivers in real time through the city's mobile app. The app shows you the color-coded map of the city. Green areas mean that you have the best likelihood of finding parking, um, and blue areas mean that you have a likely chance of finding parking, and red areas are probably places you should not bother trying to find parking. Clicking on any colored area also gives the hourly cost of parking. The city uses flexible pricing combined with parking data to steer drivers toward lesser-used parking areas. Every eight weeks or so, we look at occupancy data, were there open spaces available or not on that block during that time of day, and we gradually adjust rates up or down by 25 cents to gradually zero in on that just right price. And we're seeing things really moving in the right direction, that it is getting easier to find a parking space, that we are redistributing demand using price. Because of this app, parking is a lot easier to find, and now I'm coming into the city a lot more than I used to. Never before has a city assembled this kind of data from sensors on the street where we finally know what's happening with parking on the street, combining that with data from meters, from citations, transit vehicles, sales tax, and to really achieve our goals, whether for the transportation system, for congestion, quality of life, the environment. This is a good first step towards figuring out how we can do this better.